Uh, it's a pleasure to stand here before you uh, today. Uh, I've been associated with one of the major discoveries of scientific discoveries of our time. And since the time that these discoveries were made public last year, Pakistanis everywhere have showered me with warmth, congratulations, and pride. And I've been moved by all this attention, and I thank you all very much for it, and especially my friends at ITU for bringing me here uh, to be part of this, the recipient of this inaugural Lahore Technology Award. Gravitational waves were considered to be an impossible dream to ever detect. Einstein predicted them over 100 years ago, and he himself said they would never be, amount to anything useful. When I began working on these 27 years ago, that it was seen as, as, a, as a fool's errand, and yet we have done it. And the reason I bring this up to you today, graduates, is that I hope each and every one of you will experience the euphoria of scientific breakthrough in your careers, and that you'll hang on to the lure of that even when the daily struggles seem overwhelming. One of my formative experiences that led me towards a career in science was repairing bicycles in Karachi when I was a child. I had inherited an ancient rally bike from my older cousin, and that bike was in constant need of repairs and care. As a 10-year-old, I did not have the money to pay the bike shop, so the bicycle walla taught me how to repair my bike. If I needed parts, he let me have them in exchange for my labor in repairing other bikes that came to his shop. Next door to the bicycle shop was an electrician. When I wanted a bike light, he taught me to cobble together a dynamo. Now, those two men had little formal education themselves and probably never thought of themselves as educators. And yet, they taught me things I never could have learned in school at that age and at maybe no age. Years later, that elect the electronic and mechanical skills I learned in their shops played a role in landing me a, a position as a graduate student at MIT in the group of my PhD advisor, who was this year, in 2017, the physics Nobel laureate, Ray Weiss. So the one lesson I've learned is that our teachers are everywhere, and they play a unique and important role uh, in our lives. So students, graduates, please never forget that. You, too, are the generators of ideas, not just absorbers and executors of other people's ideas. Always innovate. So my last request for you is to take this extraordinary education you've received, combine it with principles of integrity and kindness in everything you do, work with others who have walked a different journey than yours, stand up to the forces that destroy equal opportunity for everyone, and you will change the world. At a time when tribalism is on the rise worldwide, the gap between rich and poor grows ever wider, when the health of our beautiful planet is more threatened than ever, when education itself is under siege, your generation is our hope. I, will, I hope you will use your education to be a force for good always. Congratulations again and thank you.